Okay, we're going to change the crankshaft position sensor on the SLK. Um, the sensor is actually uh, taken off the covers, two covers, there they are, I've taken them off. If you look past the back part down this hole here, you'll see uh, there's a couple of pipes in the way, there's another pipe down further, and if you can see through this gap, it's really hard to see through that gap, it's actually right down. focus when it's looking at this. And hopefully you can see that. Well, what I'm going to do is get a, a, a long uh, Torx bit on it and um, see if I can undo it, which is going to be very tricky to film. I'll have a go. Okay. If I can see it. See my tool there. Cool, that's tight. I'm going to put a little ratchet on there. There you go, that's loosened. Let's take off my ratchet. Now this is a, a sort of a star head bolt, it's an E8 star head bolt. Um, I can see it again to get back on it. There it is. Right. I don't really want to drop this screw, so I'm kind of turn and turn and turn until I feel it clicking against the thread. my hand down in there, underneath that screw, and make sure that I take that screw out with me, because I really don't want to drop that. There we go, there it is. No, I do. That to one side. Hopefully I can now ease out this sensor. I've deliberately not taken the connector off it at this stage, because I don't want to drop it. There we go, that's sliding up. Now, if there's enough slack, I can actually see it. There we go. I can actually see it down the side here now. So there it is. What I'm going to try and do is get the connector off this. See how it connects. Okay, so it's onto the top. There's a little bit of a connector there. Looks like there's a clip around the back underneath the L shape of it. Yeah, that pushes in. There's a little clip. I can see it there. There it is. Push that in. So, I just pull, the, pull that out there. There we go. So there's the connector. The connector's in nice good shape. You can see there's shiny copper in there, so that's okay. I'm just going to let that go back down onto the starter motor. And, uh, and now I can, uh, I can see my sensor. It's got a bit of rust on it. Looks okay though, generally. Nice and clean inside. Hmm. Pretty good. So, where's the other one? Let's write a new one here somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you do with a new sensor? I hate it when this happens. Oh, 
Of course. I left it on the wall, silly bugger. Right. So, theoretically, fitting is the same in reverse. So, it's just a um, quick comparison because we're clever than this, right? So let's just pop this out of its box. Just in case I don't get it wrong, that's the part number for this, um, the Bosch one, there it is, as you can see, it looks the same, a little bit longer on the, on the connector, but they, uh, they go down the same depth, looks like it, yeah, very, very similar, same clip on the back, it should go in, no problem, as long as it slides in that hole, I think it will be alright. Mm. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, as I said, fitting is the reverse of taking out. So we need a connector, which we have here. We have to get down in there, sorry, it's tricky to see. Or should I say impossible to see? Uh, that's the connector. Off the back. Clip was on the inside, goes in there. Clips on like that. Heard it click. Give it a squeeze. There it is, and that's on. Now I need to go for the hole. You can see the hole. Down this. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Hang on. Let's see if I can get you to see it. There, there it is. So there's the hole in there. In case there's a cable down there as well, I'm not sure what that's for. We won't worry too much about that. Let's see if we can get this in the hole. There's the hole. So I need the. Um, See if I can slide that in there. There we go, it's slid down, that's rather good. Make sure that that's twisted so it lines up properly. Just pop you down there. It's very dark down there. I don't get it to lighten up at all. And what I'm going to do is get the torx bit again. See if I can get it down. Let's make sure this is definitely pointing backwards, otherwise the screw won't go in that hole. Now if you remember, we've got the, uh, the torque screw, there it is, torque screw. Difficult to focus on the torque screw. Focus, focus. No, anyway, I think you can see that. So that's going to go back down in this hole, you can see the shiny hole. Now I'm going to hold it in the tip of my extended quarter inch drive and without the ratchet on it at the moment. There it is. Okay. Maybe I can go in the other side of these pipes. Sorry, can my hand gets more in. Don't have a lot of choice. I did it wrong. There it goes. Into the hole. I should be able to wind this. Hmm. Felt like it was crossing. Let's just try that again. I'll wind this down and I'm going to tighten it up to about the same torque it was before. I can't possibly get a torque wrench in here, I'm not even going to try, um, but it shouldn't need to be massively tight. i just keep going until it's in. There is a risk I haven't got it in. I'll check my hand to make sure it's going in. Yeah, that's going in. Oh, there we go, it's gone tight. So, put on my little ratchet, but you can't see. Let's get up here, ratchet. Go any other way. Okay. Fiddly, fiddly. Sorry, it's over to see. Some things are just impossible to film. Anyway, I think you seem to want to do a ratchet a bit before I'm just going to tweak it. 
so that should be it. I'm just gonna stick my hand in there. Feel it, you can hopefully you can see it down there. This is it, this is the cable on top. The star thing is at the back there. It's in, it's all the way in. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not trapping that cable. Everything's fine. Do we good? Yeah. So there we go, um, that's it, replacing the uh, crankshaft position sensor. Hopefully now, the goal will start. No guarantee though, it might be something else.